Mike Odoms. I'm a visual artist from New Orleans. We are currently at Studio B, which started off as a solo show of my work, but now it's expanded to be an art space, a cultural space, education space. So welcome. All art is about communication, and uh, I'm conscious as a visual artist of what I'm communicating and how I communicate it. Um, one of my great joys as an artist is to be able to paint portraits of people in my community from history, from the present, and I'm conscious of how that plays an impact on how we see each other and how we see ourselves. Um, as an artist, I'm conscious of trying to constantly demystify what it means to be an artist and the power and responsibility that art has. And so with the paintings that you see on the wall, there's always these conversations about how art can inspire us and challenge us and hopefully help us envision a better future. And that's what I try to do with the work I create. We do tons of school tours with students as young as kindergarten, all the way to high school and college. And I like to introduce them to stories in history that they might not know. So for example, this painting right here is a New Orleans story of a group of elders who organized in the 70s and they had free breakfast programs, they had education programs in the desired community. And this was an opportunity to celebrate them on their 50th anniversary. And so I painted portraits of each of them, invited them into the space and surprised them. Um, they were part of the Black Panther Party of Louisiana. And so here's portraits of these elders. Um, and being able to bring these stories to life is what I love to do as an artist. So this room in Studio B is a part of the process and collaboration that we do with young people and young artists. This piece behind me specifically is a product of those conversations. Uh, questions to young folk about safety and policing that led to a series of sketches and examples and answers that ultimately led to the construction of this installation. It's called No Justice, No Peace. Um, and it's crazy to see it go from sketch to an actual piece that sits behind me. Studio B as a whole, but as well as this room specifically, is, is an example of that process of creating and demystifying that process. Like this, these pieces behind me started off with youth artists that came up with these ideas. And we wanted them to see that the journey to getting to this finished product wasn't a complicated one. It was a practical one that they could do at the age, at the space that they were in. And I think for me, that's what helped me become an artist was understanding that, seeing those examples and understanding that art is for the community, art is for the, the creator, art is, 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 a, is, a, is a way to communicate what's important to you. And no one can tell you when you can and can't do that because it's your truth. And so for all these individuals that painted in this particular room, this is their truth on display. And I'm excited that we're able to show it and give them an opportunity to speak. So the piece behind me uh, was a part of that amazing journey. There was a young artist who sketched out, uh, doodled a, a, a gun with a flower coming out of it as a part of the workshop that we did here with young artists. And then we took that piece and worked with him to come up with colors and to figure out how to make this into something large. Um, and basically from his sketch came this inflatable version of his drawing. Um, and the conversation was around this piece coming out of this violin instrument and thinking about the idea of growth and life um, in the midst of this potential instrument of destruction. And so for that kid to communicate something so deep and then see it turn into something that's larger than him and communicate that same message to the audience is, is super exciting and important. The map to the new world is in our imagination and it's gonna require us to be as creative as possible to create the space in the world that we all gonna exist in together. That's why art is so important to me, because it allows us to see into the future the space that we wanna to build together. And that's what I hope you continue to do and challenge yourself.